Hey guys, so I have a confession to make. I buy more books than I can keep track of. Every week or so I end up buying three or four books uh, from a bookstore, most likely The Strand. I don't like to shop at Barnes and Nobles or Borders or any big bookstore like that. I end up reading a lot of books, but I never talk about them because I just can't keep track of them all. This is just an introduction to Jonathan's book rating system. It's a rating system from 1 to 10. One being, do not even look at this book and you should feel ashamed if you own it. Five being, make up your own mind about this book. Different folks, different strokes. I don't find this book neither good nor bad. It just is. And I leave you to make the decision about whether you want to read it or not. And a ten is mandatory reading for everyone. I highly recommend a book that I read a ten. And you need this in your hands now. Stop watching this video and go buy this book. Last week I spoke a bit about... Uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is one of those books where if you haven't read it, you have to stop what you're doing now. Stop watching this video. I don't even care if I get the view or not. Stop watching. Go download it online, because you can legally download it online. It's copyright free. And then, while you're reading it online, I want you to go on Amazon.com and purchase a copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll right now, because everyone deserves a hard copy. Alice in Wonderland, for example, I would rate a 10. But two weeks ago, we finished a rather different book in my fourth grade class, and that was A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. Now, A Wrinkle in Time is the first in a series of five books, but A Wrinkle in Time is the most popular of the five. The other ones are A Wind in the Door, A Swiftly Tilting Planet, Many Waters, and Acceptable Time. So as you probably guessed because I read this um, in my fourth grade class, it is a sort of children's book, but it's a very interesting children's book. It's very uh, spiritual children's book in the sense that it's about bravery and overcoming obstacles like many books are. A Wrinkle in Time is about a girl whose father had disappeared a long time ago while he was doing a scientific study on the Tesseract. Now a Tesseract is the fifth dimension. By using the Tesseract you could travel uh, far distances throughout the galaxy and you could also uh, do funny things with time. So he's trapped on another planet uh, not unlike Earth, there are people on that planet, but the people are controlled by it. It is a brain that controls everything, and because um, it is controlling everything, sort of like a dictatorship, there's a black thing over this planet. There's also a black thing that's starting to form over Earth. Now, the black thing itself is just pure evil. So Meg, Calvin, and Charles Wallace were chosen by the angel to go to the far reaches of the galaxy to save Meg's father on the planet Kamazot that's being controlled by it and also to fight the darkness over there. Crazy story, but more interesting story is uh, the way they travel, uh, the planets they see, the things they learn, and how faults can be a good thing and just like, it's a lot of different things all put into one. A Wrinkle in Time, I would rate a 6. For A Wrinkle in Time, I'm actually going to rate it a 6. Yes, I know. Harsh. A lot of people love this book, a lot of people swear by it, and I have friends who say this is their favorite book of all time. I'm sorry they have to disagree. I think while A Wrinkle in Time is good and it has a lot of uh, things to think about in terms of dimensionality and in terms of depth of character and depth of spirit, uh, what it's really lacking is descriptive capabilities. It leaves a lot to the imagination and I, I just don't like it. I'm used to reading Stephen King. Stephen King is the type of person who gives more detail than is needed. Like if he's talking about a restaurant, he explains the maitre d' and the people in the restaurant and what kind of conversations people are having as the person's walking to a seat. And uh, A Wrinkle in Time is sort of like if they had a similar situation, the person would just walk into a restaurant and the waiter d' would take him to a seat, not even like giving real good descriptions of everything going on. So, but I guess that's sort of the type of writing that you would expect from a children's novel. Um, I just don't find it that interesting. I like to be pulled in with a depth of description and A Wrinkle in Time has failed to do that, although it is above a five. Now a five would be, you make your own decision whether you want to read this or not. A six would be, I'm sort of edging you on to read it a little bit. I just want to say that I just finished having two bags of chips and uh, I'm most likely going to fail this challenge. So for a food challenge, I decided to get a slice of pizza from Cross Bronx Pizza. If you've never been to Cross Bronx Pizza, it's an awesome pizza place here in the Bronx. And what they do is they sell huge pizzas. Like, for example, here's a pizza box, pretty big, right? 
uh, you would think it has a whole pie, but no, actually, um, it's it's just two slices. Yeah, this is this is like a piece of a gork. I mean, look at it compared to my face. So I'm gonna put the countdown watch set for two minutes. I've reached the end, but this is not the final curtain. In fact, I'm almost certain a new world opening for me. My time on Earth has reached its natural conclusion, but now I'm under the illusion that from now on I will be free. I've met this guy who's hard to understand But always saws the job in hand and never fails to save the day He's got the ship, well not a ship, a box that flies through time and space And always saves the human race And last September's just a button press away Oh me, oh my Look at him fly Oh my, oh me who can he be? Oh me, oh my Look at him fly Oh my, oh me Who can he be? Now I don't want to sound outrageous But now we're in the Middle Ages And there's some aliens here too says that aliens exist all over, from Margate to Moldova. If you know just where to look, he's got a brain the size of a planet, so I ask myself how can it be that he wants me each time I stay with him. And if I ask him who he is or where he's from, then all he says is he's a time lord, and then mumbles something about Gallant Green. I have failed to complete the pizza, as you can obviously see. I, I got through a good portion of it, though. I mean, that, that was pretty that was pretty badass. If, if I had another minute, I probably would have finished the whole thing. Probably. Also, I'm not really... Um, I just finished having two bags of chips, like I said before. So I'm not really... On an empty stomach. If I was on an empty stomach and like ravenous and stuff like that, I probably would have finished the whole thing. Probably. But I think this food challenge was a was a great idea. It's good to eat with other people, especially with people from your pants, because then we're all eating together in your pants. I'm just going to say goodbye and uh, Mary. I'll see you tomorrow.